A few weeks ago, you heard about a troubling situation on Sun News Network. The Harper government saying that anchor babies, specifically from China, were becoming a problem. Well, we have an exclusive Sun News investigation into this trend of passport babies. The Canadian government does plan to crack down on foreign mothers arriving in Canada with tourist visas simply to give birth and then gain citizenship for those babies. Well, one centre in Vancouver recently boasted about its services to the Chinese media, offering room and board for pregnant women. We went undercover with a hidden camera to find out exactly what the centre is promising. Sneha Kilkarni reports. These townhouses in suburban Vancouver don't look remarkable, but they're alleged to be temporary homes for new and expecting mothers from overseas. It's part of an organization known as the Pan Pan Pregnancy Center. But there are questions whether this center is helping wealthy Chinese mothers exploit Canada's immigration system. A recent report in a Chinese newspaper exposed the Vancouver Center as a haven for birth tourism with the owner allegedly bragging that business is booming and that her good reputation is widespread in mainland China. Most clients are from Beijing, Shanghai and Tianjin. By giving birth in Canada, foreign mothers secure automatic Canadian citizenship for their newborns, which can then help the family jump the immigration queue. Sun News went undercover with a hidden camera to find out more about the centre that's billed as a welcoming cradle for passport babies. Our undercover team met with one of the centre's owners, a woman named Susan. Our team asked about booking a room and services for a pregnant cousin in China who wanted to give birth in Canada. The owner explained what the center does and the costs. <laughs> and during the visit, a pregnant woman living at the center walked in, telling us she's due in May. But the owner, Susan, warned our team that visas for Chinese were hard to come by. Susan never agreed to facilitate any kind of immigration fraud, but she did offer to email more information with pictures to the cousin in China. However, online discussion boards boast pictures of the rooms and pregnancy services at the Vancouver Centre. Now, in the past five years, 969 babies have been born in B.C. alone to foreign non-resident parents. And recently, the province cracked down on foreigners using hospital services. But concerns over birth tourism aren't limited to the West Coast. This issue is popping up across the country. Hospital administrators in Montreal have raised this problem with me in particular, saying that uh, they have seen a growing number of uh, people coming here ostensibly as visitors, uh, uh, giving birth to children and then immediately leaving, not paying their hospital bills. Part of the problem is Canada's unique stance on birthright and citizenship. Well, we are one of the few countries in the world where citizenship is a right when you're born in our, within our borders. Once the baby is born here in Canada, the mother could apply for residency on humanitarian or compassionate grounds, or have the child sponsor the family once he or she turns of legal age. Minister Jason Kenney says it all amounts to stacking the deck to become a Canadian citizen. But this could soon change, with citizenship and immigration now looking to change birthright rules and cut the cord on birth tourism. All right, joining me now is Sneha Kilkarni uh, from our Toronto studio. Sneha, thanks for that report. I understand that you've also called and spoken to the uh, the citizen, not the citizenship, the pregnancy center, the Pan Pan Pregnancy Center, and asked them some specific questions. We put specific questions to them. Tell us about that. Yeah, Brian, after we did the hidden camera investigation, we called that owner, Susan, once again, identified ourselves as journalists and asked her whether she is, in fact, helping Chinese women skirt the immigration system and come to Canada to give birth. And on the phone, she said that she simply only helps locals in Vancouver's in Vancouver. But when we asked her again, we pressed her, Are you, would you help a Chinese woman come to Canada to give birth? She kept jo dodging that question, simply saying that she helps locals. Now, it is very very difficult to uh, ascertain as to whether what Susan is doing is illegal, but what the real problem is are the immigration consultants in China who are allegedly giving advice to these women, yeah. telling them how to hide their pregnancies, how to actually abuse the system, and that's what the government is really looking to crack down on is these people who are coming to Canada simply to abuse the system and jump the queue. Brian? 
Well, it does seem like a bit of a web, though. You're right. It's difficult to say, okay, is this pregnancy center breaking the law or simply facilitating others that may be trying to skirt the rules? So they said, no, we help local women on the phone. Yet you did find bragging online, hey, look at our uh, system. This is what we can offer you. And that was aimed at the Chinese market. That's right. Very interesting investigation by the Chinese newspaper Apple Daily. They actually sent a reporter undercover posing as a pregnant woman. She booked a room, stayed at the Pan Pan Pregnancy Center, and she was told that uh, the entire center was booked up for April and May, that business is booming, and, you know, the rates depended on what kind of room you wanted, what kind of services. She was offered shopping services, and uh, this was at a time where she claimed undercover that she was going to give birth in a few months here in in Canada simply to get citizenship. So certainly there are a lot of questions being raised now. As for that Pan Pan Pregnancy Center, I can tell you they have a license to run what would be commonly a bed and breakfast. That's their business license in Vancouver. So as far as providing room and board for people, that's not illegal. The big question is uh, whether these women are being coached, whether they're coming here specifically to abuse the system. And really at the crux of this is Canada's birthright laws that guarantees citizenship to any person born on Canadian soil. Now this is something that the Immigration Minister Jason Kenney has hinted he might change. In fact, he's talked about a broad range of changes to the citizenship laws in this country and I, I'm guessing that's going to be part of it. Uh, how does Canada stack up to the US, to the UK, to Europe? Well, it's very interesting, Brian. I have to point out once again, Canada and the United States so we are the only two countries in the developed nation that have this kind of birthright law. In fact, uh, if you go to other countries, say Australia, the EU, a baby born there to foreign parents only gets the highest legal standing of the parents. So if you're a permanent resident and you give birth in Australia, your child is then a permanent resident. There's no guarantee of citizenship. So a lot of people have said this law in Canada, automatic citizenship, is archaic. It needs to be changed. And that certainly could be what we're talking about when we look at broad changes. But remember, uh, the provinces issue birth certificates. So if we change this law, uh, this could also change the way we give uh, how we everyday Canadians get our passports because that birth certificate may no longer be proof of nationality, which it is right now. So these uh, changes, if they do come, won't affect just those abusing the system, but also everyday Canadians. Brian? All right. Well, and of course, as you pointed out in the report, it is the provinces and their hospitals that have been bearing some of the costs of this. Mm -hmm. Sneha Kulkarni, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.